Hey guys, it's Aria. What's up? In today's video, I'm doing a bit of a different video. I'm at my house and I'm doing a saddle pad plus riding outfit clothes um, video. I will be saying the brand of everything I know. I don't know like every single one of them, um, but not like the color name because I forgot most of them, but the ones I do remember, I'll tell you. So yeah, here is the setup. I have all my regular clothes in my mom's room, which is awesome. So this is all my riding clothes and all my saddle pads. My saddle pads are not organized in rainbow order because I have a bunch that are like sparkly and holographic and a bunch that are patterns or like just, it would look messy because they're all different sizes, shapes, patterns, whatever. So they're not in rainbow order, but they are in brand order and also least to favorite. So, my collection of favorites is on this side, and then my least favorites are on this side. So, we're going to start with least favorites. Um, as you might be able to tell, I don't have that much space on this rack. Um, so, I don't know if this is really my least favorite saddle pad, but it's my least favorite brand. So, and I've only worn the saddle pad once. It's a pretty color, I just don't love it like on a horse. So Tough Rider is the least favorite brand I have because they're bad quality saddle pads and they slip and they're just kind of annoying to put on and stuff, not great for the horse's back. So yeah, this is some like mint, very, let me zoom out, mint green color that I used once on Buckshot. And then, whoops. Oops. So this one, I actually, this is also Tough Rider. I actually use it pretty often because um, I like the color and I have a matching shirt. I'll pick that up in a second, but it's helping me give more space anyways. I hung this one up wrong, but this one is a lilac color, which I have a matching shirt for and I like the color. I just don't use it that much for no reason, really. And then... Periwinkle, which I don't use that much just because it's not my favorite color. And then Royal Blue, which I actually have two of these because um, I bought one myself and then I got one for my birthday. But one is Dover, one is Stuff Rider, so they're very slightly different. And then this is just red. I use this one pretty often. I really like the red, same with the blue. So yeah, that is all of the Tough Rider saddle pads. Now on to Dover, which I have a lot of. My least favorite Dover one, honestly, I regret getting this. I got it because it was on sale. It was like $15, maybe 10 even. Um, and I thought it would look good on Buckshot, but, and it did, I think that I can remember. But I used it once and then I never touched it again because it's really not me. I don't like a ton of crazy designs like that. Um, so yeah, I kind of regret getting that one, but it's all right. This one is ice blue. Yes, it is different from the Periwinkle one. Um, I don't love Dover, the brand, like of saddle pads. I love Dover, but not their saddle pads because you can see they're just straight line and that's not great for the horse's back. So I don't use them as much, but I do have a half pad and my saddle's fitted, so it's all right, but still. Um, burgundy, I do use this one fairly often because I really like burgundy. Navy, this one is super basic. I'm planning on starting to use it more because I really like it and I have a lot of outfit ideas for it. Um, yeah, I'm also starting to like, like not always matching and colored pants instead of shirts and stuff like that. So you might notice some changes. And then this one is black. I um, I like this one because it's tan, so it goes well with tan pants and it has white. And um, yeah, just black saddle pad. 
definitely will be needing another one because I don't know. I feel like it's necessary to have more than one black and white saddle pad. Um, Hunter Green. Oops, sorry, my hand's covering. Hunter Green. This one is one of my favorite colors, but because it's not one of my favorite brands, I don't use it that much. This one I also regret buying. Too busy for me. Um, it's Zebra Stripes. I think I've used it maybe once, maybe twice. So yeah, that one I believe was also on sale. Okay, this one is a really here let me zoom in because the quality is bad at 0.5 so this one is um a dressage oh yeah so is this one so these four dover ones are dressage pads it is okay to jump small in dressage saddles and pads just you know it's not built for it but it's okay um at least from the research i've done so i like this color but i don't like using it I don't know, every time I ride in it, my lesson doesn't go that well, or my equitation isn't that good, so I call it my unlucky saddle pad, even though I don't really believe in luck. I guess I do, because I have a lucky saddle pad too, but this one is like a, I think Dover called it mahogany. It's like a dusty rose type of color. Um, and then my yellow one is my favorite from Dover or well one of them because I just it's very bright but it looks really good on Bitsy so like I said the brand brand is kind of organized by least favorite to favorite like least favorite favorite from Dover but also by like dressage pad all purpose you know just different stuff it's hard to organize I have two I think these are called like Roma E. Cole I don't know. I got them, I believe, both from Dover. So this one is purple with a lavender and blue trim. Um, I don't use this one that much. It was actually the first saddle pad I ever bought. But I use it, I mean, I use it sometimes. Um, and then white. I am planning on getting another white one because this one has a purple trim and it has a bunch of things loose so I'm gonna get a Lemieux one I added it to my Christmas list and if I'm too impatient or I don't get it I'm gonna buy it myself um so yeah and then so that was the Roma E. Cole or Roma whatever now we are on to Equestrum which is one of my favorite brands now we're getting into favorites so this is the holographic one, um, my first equestrian pad, and I love it. It was a Christmas gift last year, and the material is just super, like, smooth, and I don't know, it doesn't feel like any of my other saddle pads, and I like it. Yeah, they use a lot of interesting materials, actually, which is cool. It has the little embroidery, and it's overall just very well made. It has nice shape, I just, I suggest getting them. Um, same with the Roma ones. They're not as shaped, but they're not like straight, which I like. Um, and then this one is Lavender Sparkly. I forgot what it's actually called, but it doesn't come off, but it feels like it would. It's like textured, but it's really pretty and also good quality, of course. Um, nice little trim. Yeah, Equestrium just has details, and they're just very well-made, and I like supporting smaller businesses. So, this one is called the Queen of Hearts one. Um, I haven't actually used that one yet. Are there any others I haven't used? There are a couple others I haven't used on Bitsy, but I think I've used all of them other than that. This one is the last Equestrium one. Um... This one also has a nice, this one even has frill on the sides, and it's very fancy. It's, um, it doesn't look that good, but then I got it, and I was like, wow, I love this. Um, because I can wear the shirt that matches the mahogany one, this. And I have pants that are kind of a darker shade of this color, so it just goes really well. Um, yeah. And then... So these, like Equestrum and Over, I don't really have like favorites out of those. 
so they're kind of just in random order. This one's from Lemieux. This is the suede close contact watermelon. I know one of the brands and names. Um, Lemieux is well made and it's a good company. I personally don't like supporting it because I feel like it's overrated and big and I like the small business businesses more, which when I got all the Dover pads, that was not recently. Um, and obviously they're a big business, but yeah, I'm getting more into the smaller businesses. So yeah, you know, it's nice though. Lemieux is a really nice brand, just overrated. Not overrated, overused. Like I see a lot of people with Lemieux instead of the other ones. This one is Cavalo, which is one of my favorites, obviously, but it has a white and blue trim. It's called the Storm Blue. This just looks very nice. Oh, my phone has it on both sides. And yeah, it's just very nice. And then Weather Beta. This one is Sunflower Fields, I believe. These saddle pads look huge, I don't know why. Maybe they are bigger, but um, yeah, they have nice shape and they're well made and stuff. And I like Weather Beta a lot, but they're also a bigger brand. So yeah, I won't be buying much more of their stuff. So, so that's it for saddle pads. Um, I wanted to do like a full tack tour of everything I have, but the problem is I have a bunch of like old tack in my garage, like old brushes I don't use, etc. So, and that's kind of a mess. So I don't know if I should show you like my fly hoods that I have, neat, my leg wraps and all that stuff because that wouldn't be a full tack tour and I don't have my other tack. So. Anyways, we're just doing saddle pads and clothes for this vlog, at least. So, these are all my clothes. There are a lot of bright colors. I have not really gotten clothes recently, like riding clothes, or any clothes, actually. Um, so, we're just going to start with my belt. This is actually the only riding belt I have, which is very sad. I do have, like, 20 on my Christmas list. Um, oh, I love this fly hood. Sorry, distracted. Um... Um, so they just, it's like basic belt with some bits on it. It's cute. I got it from Dover. Um, yeah, I don't know. So we are going to start over here. I organized this so it goes show clothes, winter, summer, pants, and then other things. So, my... Um, other show clothes, I don't have all my show clothes here. So this is my sister's old show jacket that I used for a while because I didn't have one. So it was too big in the shoulders. Um, so I got a new one. I will show you that probably at the end. And then my inside out show, show shirt. Uh, I have a mess jacket, so it needed to be navy with a white collar. So you couldn't see it through the jacket. Two of those. And then... Um, oh, and those are, what brand are those? It's upside down. Why is it upside down? Bestrum? I don't know how to pronounce that, but whatever that is. And then, Tailored Sportsman, Trophy Hunter, because I, um, am tall, and I'm still a kid, so I need, like, garters and stuff. I needed to find pants with these. That would be, um, that would fit. So, yeah, Taylor Sportsman was great. These ones are the ones I've worn. These ones are brand new. And then these are the show pants that I got, uh, at Dover because none of the other ones, none of the kids' ones fit me, but now I can't wear them. So, I either I'll wear them for casual practice or I'll just not wear them. I don't know. Hopefully they'll still fit by the time I need them. So this is my old show shirt that I can't use because my jacket is mesh. But I use it to just regularly ride in. It has blue cuffs, which is kind of annoying because it doesn't work well with all my saddle pads. But it's okay. That one is Castell. I love the material. 
it's super like summery it's really thin and comfortable and yeah and then this is another one of my old show shirts this one's short sleeve and all white um very basic i really like this this one too it has a nice fit and it is riding sport and then i have one that's ovation and it's basically the same thing and then this is just a regular riding shirt um, that I wore at my first show at my old barn. It's just navy, but it matches my navy saddle pad, so I wear it sometimes. Actually, I've only worn it once, but this sweatshirt, I forgot what brand this is, but um, it's a nice sweatshirt. It doesn't match any of my saddle pads, but I can definitely make it look good with a purple one. I don't even know if this still fits me. It's like a muted purpley lavender color. Um, I probably won't wear it at all, but I'm keeping it because it's brand new. <sighs> Anyways, and then now that was kind of like winter, fall. Well, we had two of those, but now on to um, summer. So I have a lot of just t-shirts that I ride in, which I won't be getting more of those. I'll be getting more riding clothes because that way we can have a perfect match but i got these from just like craft stores um for like two dollars this one's yellow um blue which doesn't actually match any of my saddle pads this one's the one that matches mahogany pretty well blue my lemieux active one that matches watermelon this this one is a riding shirt or no it's just a sports shirt but it's supposed to be like cooling i like the sun shirts for riding more and then this one is like a riding sport um like polo type thing i don't know if these still fit i think they do but i haven't actually worn them ever <sighs> and then this is very weirdly mountain horse um this one is the one that matches my lavender pretty well. This one is pretty close to my, I don't know why I have so many pink shirts. Pretty close to my watermelon. And this one's a nice summer one. This is another one of the riding sport things. Another riding sport thing. This one matches my ice blue. Another riding sport thing. <laughs> this one matches my teal pretty well. It's pretty close. You wouldn't really be able to tell it was different when I was on. But, again, I don't know if these fit. I'm sure they do, but I haven't tried them on. So, this is um, one brand, one type of riding shirt I like. It's a Dover Tech T with the stride on the back. I don't know if the stride is like part of the branding or what, but these are really nice for summer, and I like them. This doesn't match anything. But since I like the shirts, I'll probably make it work somehow. Unfortunately, I'm getting more riding. I have to get a lot more riding clothes for winter. Um, so I won't be matching nearly as much in winter because all my matches are short sleeve. So you'll see a lot of just black with saddle pads. So I can just wear a jacket. This one is Tough Rider and it's just kind of a like brown red color. Doesn't really match anything. This is another one of those sports shirts that is way oversized. Um, and it's like a bright neon greenish yellow. I don't know what I'll use that for. There's this green one. This one is just a t-shirt that's black that I use for riding. This one is a um, periwinkle t-shirt. Another black t-shirt because you can never have enough. A white t-shirt. This one matches my hunter green t-shirt. I mean my hunter green saddle pad. Um, green shirt that I use with the sunflower fields ombre one. And then the red Dover stride thing. Which matches my red, obviously. So then with breeches, um, I have a little bit of a system going. So these are all my full seat, and then these are all my knee patch. <sighs> Sorry, my shoulder hurts from holding the phone. Um, so these ones 
are, again, this brand that I forgot the name of. Let's see if it says on here. Stride. Oh, okay. So, Stride, I think, is the brand. They're full seat. They have little bit grips. And they have a holographic spot running down. They're a bit thick for my preference, or my old preference. I don't know. I haven't worn them in a while. And then my favorite breeches are my ovation i don't know what they are but they're not really made anymore so they're hard to find but i love them because they're basically yoga pants i just wish they had belt loops um so these i have two pairs of these these are full seat again two pairs of this color um and then blue and i believe that's all my full seat right yeah and then over here we have that same blue color in knee patch, old carrots ones that are very beaten up, but they're not stained, unlike my other tan breeches, so. Um, these ones are carrots. I really, really like these because, um, oh, by the way, we're on to knee patch. <laughs> um, because they're really thin. They're just like my yoga pants feeling ones, but they have belt loops. So I like them a lot, but their grips don't really work. I have a, these are actually full seat, but I have them in the knee patch group because their grips don't really work for me. And then we have two pairs of the black knee grip ovation ones, tan ovation ones that are very like dirty and stained. And then some other old black ones that I truly have no idea if they fit. And then a protective vest that I got um, because when Naomi bolted twice, my mom wanted me to wear it. And then the only time I ever wore it was going cross country, so I don't really use it. But yeah, and then this just normal riding vest that I'll be using. It's great for winter too. So I can wear like long sleeves and that so it's a little bit warmer but I can still maybe match and whatever. I also am getting a winter jacket and yeah. So that is it for the 20k special. Thank you guys so much for 20k. I never imagined we would get here and I will see you in a riding vlog hopefully soon. Bye!